Hi y'all and welcome back. So right now I am just cooking some ground beef, onions, bell peppers. Um, I bought this at Kroger's. Um, everything that's in the pan at Kroger's. Um, I'm just making this for my mom, my sister, and my son. I'm not a big ground beef eater at all. It upsets my stomach a lot, but I will um, cook it for them and take it to mom and my sister, and then my son will eat it for his lunch today. Um, we're just doing uh, loose meat sandwiches. If you guys have never heard of loose meat sandwiches, y'all need to give it the program. Put some ketchup in it. Put, it's just like sloppy joe, but you can add whatever you want in it. Um, so I, before I put the meat and stuff in the pan, I did add a little water in it just to make the meat a little juicy. You can put meat tenderizer, but I normally just do like this with a little water and some, I have some extra virgin olive oil in here. And so I'll just put a little bit more olive oil in there. But as you cook, the meat will evaporate sometimes and sometimes you have to drain the meat. But yeah, um, this is how I cook my loose meat sandwich. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried it, definitely try it and then also you can say meat too as well if you're not uh, into like loose meat sandwiches and stuff like that you can have sloppy joe um, you can do spaghetti with it um, you can do a homemade hamburger helper I love making homemade hamburger helper um, and you know you can do all kinds of things with it and make all kinds of meal preps with it lunches and stuff like that dinner and then also you can also save it if nobody eats it and just put it in the freezer until you need it all you have to do is just warm it up in the pan and add whatever you need to add um good on nachos um yeah so that's what we're cooking today okay so we got some brown brown beef right now the onions and the bell peppers have sauteed to the fullest we got a little juice there that hasn't completely um, dissolved now if you guys was cooking like some beef stroganoff or something like that that juice will go so well with it and you just add your flavors I did add some uh, sea salt and black pepper in, but if you was making like a beef stroganoff or something like that, you would just add your beef stock, um, olive oil, a little water, and uh, cream and stuff like that. But everything is well cooked, so I'm going to turn the stove off. and. how I just plate it up for my kid um, for him to eat for his lunch since he's doing like virtual learning I have to cook for him whenever I'm off my mom cooks for him when he's at her house or if my sister is off work she'll cook for him or um, sometimes he just like eating Lunchables like do your kids like eating Lunchables a lot like my son loves Lunchables and Capri Sun so I have to stock up on it when I go to the store but yeah, let me get to that. I was going to make french fries, but we are running out of time. Um, he's supposed to be back at 12.10 uh, 12 or 12.20. So I want him to be able to be full when he gets back. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and plate it up. And now I'm not going to lie to you guys that the plate is not going to be a plate. It's going to be just one of these uh, Walmart, <laughs> Walmart um, paper plates, styrofoam plates. Yeah, that's what we're working with. So for my kids, um, for my kid, because I only have one son, um, one child. So for my kid snack, Rich is always Dorito and Welch um, gummies. So those would be his little snack options. So I do um, put the bread in the microwave just to warm it up a little bit and I just get like a spatula full of meat but before I put the meat I want to go ahead and place 
or put some ketchup on there. So I just use this um, Simply Truth Organic Tomato Ketchup, which is really, really good, you guys. I get this at um, my local Kroger. And you can't tell me kids are not fan of ketchup. They love it. So I'm just gonna bring this over here because I don't wanna have any spillage on the stove and just place um, it on top of the bread. I'm gonna do him a little bit more, but not a lot. You can add cheese to it, you can add may uh, mayo to it. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more ketchup on top. I'm just scared because I don't want this to get everywhere. But um, yeah, you can do mayo, mustard, however your kids like or you like. And I take the same spatula and kind of cut it. You've got to cut it. <laughs> So yeah, I cut it in half. Put that there. Open up the sandwich. And then pretty much. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Just like this. Like I said, if you, you want to make nachos with it, you can definitely do that. You definitely can make nachos with it. And then I just put this like right there and that's his lunch you guys and then he's gonna drink some water so yeah that's what I cook for my son's lunch so he's literally getting cook cook lunch every day so how's that life kids like seriously how's that life getting cooked meals fresh meals on the daily from parents from grandma nana from sister and brother you don't have to eat sandwiches and peanut butter sandwiches all the time. But um, I normally always make my son um, his lunch for school. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily like my son to eat the school lunch. I mean, for each parent is each preference, their preference. But me personally, I've seen some of the lunches and I'm just not too fond of it. And most of the time my son come home, if he, if he, do decide to eat a school lunch because I do give him an option um, if he do decide to eat school lunch he's always coming home hungry so I just told him all together not to eat it no more because I want him to be full and I want him to be ready for um, his class and stuff like that and not be hungry or want a snack and all that um, but yeah this is what I cook for my son's virtual learning school lunch and um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is the end you guys I made this quick and simple for you guys um, so the name of this sandwich is loose meat sandwiches it's really really quick and if you're into ground beef go ahead and use that I love turkey meat preferably that's my preference um, so yeah um, I probably won't be eating that I'll put it in the container and just take it to mom's and they can have nachos um, but yeah I yeah <laughs> um, but we'll see you later bye